no cooling call carrier RTU and guess what I had found I left the power on so you guys could see exactly what I had what I found or what I see so I didn't want to touch it only leave it like organic all right this is what I found but I was pleasantly surprised because I see this it's the first time I'm seeing this this right here in a carrier unit it's like pretty new I knew about this right here this board I've seen that and I've seen this drive but I've never seen this right and look what this is pretty cool but before we get into the video I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed smash that bell icon um, can you see the problem can you see what's going on here guys we got a fan right here it's barely moving in the air if I do this like an injured pup <laughs> So that's one problem and here's the next problem right here's the next problem um this is what i found this compressor you can see see the difference right here what's going on right here and that's supposed to be white so i think this thing is overheating let's see the temperature right now because it's calling for cooling it's 113 degrees right now but props is hotter than that because this is doing surface and it's reflective but um to the touch it feels pretty hot just pause and touch it yeah so it's definitely hotter than 113 i would say it's probably about 120 either 125 um even 130 but it's actually cooling down right now and the windings are still open or perhaps is bad perhaps it's ruined i don't know but I tell you, I'm going to hit this other com compressor that's able to run right now. See if you guys can hear it. And you know there's a problem when you call, walk up to your rooftop unit and you see your condensing fans. running so you hear what's going on here guys I could tell right away is that that compressor the rotation is backwards and if you run it for like that for extended period obviously it's gonna overheat and so happened to this one but I don't know why this one shut off and and I admit maybe because uh, this device here did it turn it off I don't know but this one seems to be running like it kept on running and backwards and you can see what's what happening right here this thing is hot hot to the touch if I push that contactor oh initially when I hit the contactor it didn't turn on I swear I swear to you I'm not lying I'm not lying <laughs> I swear initially so it cooled down then so that's what's going on um I'm gonna flip the rotation man I'm gonna flip that switch you know it's, uh, it's crazy man it's crazy but this is I'm, I'm excited about this though this right here because I've never seen one of these carrier unit before before this day so when I opened this cover and I saw it I was surprised all right it looks like it's an economizer module of some sort um, um economizer controller module of some sort I think Honeywell makes something similar I'm gonna play around with it I probably do another video once I figure out exactly why it is what it does the in this now but I could see that you got you got Y1 Y2 you got a RAT you got a RAT you got a RH you guys, you guys compressor contactor one compressor contactor. Yes, everything goes through here supply your temperature let me just scroll down here into what i could see man all right well before i do mess with that i'm just gonna switch to the uh fix the rotation get these compressors turning better stay in line and one of my acts if the phase is reversed on the compressor why is my supply fan going the right rotation i mean it is in fact the right rotation let's be extremely loose fan belt um yeah you got a vfd drive right there 
can't reverse rotation on the VFD drive. The VFD drive, unless you change the output, the outlet, you can do whatever you want with the inlet. It ain't gonna switch. It's gonna remain forward, it's forward, and reverse is reverse, it knows it. It's smaller than you and I. Technology, AI, artificial, artificial intelligence. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch the main power, and I'm gonna get these compressors going the right rotation, direction, and then I'm gonna play around with this bad boy, right? I'm gonna play around with it, have some fun with this. Have some fun with this thing right here. Can you guys see it? If you're familiar with this, if you're from Carrier, or if you're like a Carrier Tech or a Carrier Rep or whatever, Carrier, yo, chime in, man, comment about this bad boy right here, man. Don't keep it a secret. Let the, let the HVAC community know. I mean, I wanna know, I'm, but I'm gonna play around though. I'm gonna play around with this bad boy right here. I can't wait. Escape. Mechanical cooling one is on. Yeah, I think this is just a similar similar to um, the the, uh, the, uh, the Honeywell. You guys can see what's going on here. Yeah, I think it's similar to that. I mean, Honeywell economizer control. Let's see, I see something initially. I saw something initially. Live conditions. Then turn that. Ah, 80 degree supply. Outdoor temperature. 80 degrees. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What's that? 8,888. Yeah, they're boiling down there. You're melting rather. Okay, I guess that's a missing sensor. Okay, not installed. Uh, compressor 1 is on Compressor 2 is on Wait a minute No it's not Oh maybe And this is doing some type of economization Because Compressor 1 I pulled the wire from the contactor Right there But compressor 2 The wire is there but it's not on I'm wondering if the economizer is holding it out Because you know everything goes through this block right here You can see Y1 Y1, Y2 Everything is there so props, economizer. It's not that it's not G's on. Y1 is on. Y2 is on. Pretty cool. All right, this is for another day, though. Another, another video, I guess. I'm pretty excited. Um, I wonder why comp why compressor. Uh, Compressor 2 is not on. I know if 1 is doing this thing. You know, is this compressor flat? Did it blue, did it blue the charge? I don't know. Uh, missing cap right there. I'll find out. Stay tuned. Okay, power is off. And yo, look at this belt, man. This thing's like, got like a freaking 10 inch of play. 10 inches of play. There's another one of one of these on their trucks. Needs one needs one ASAP. Yeah. This pulley's probably ruined right now. And it's still good, surprisingly. Yeah. Pulley's still good. Thought this would have been ruined. Alright, let's uh, take care of this power issue. If I can. Allen keys. Do I have any? Let's check. Stay tuned. Now make sure you test this thing dead before you start playing around with this stuff because you could get murdered. Yeah, you could get murdered. Murdered if you are, are electrocuted, rather. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it's dead. Well, I think up top right here is live still. All right, let's double check that. Up top. Yeah, it's over there. The one bottom is dead. And it's good to go from each line to ground as well.
Yeah. Real world age back style. You know, we don't So I'm gonna put this little Allen key in here. Make sure it's snugged. Use my uh, turn it. Get up. So all I'm gonna do is just switch two wires, switch two of the colors. You want to call it that? You want to call it call it switching the power, the colors, or switching the the terminals, or switching the lines, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna take two off, flip them around, and so you reverse the phase or change the phase rotation. So that's that. This one I'm gonna put over here. Boom. Like so, that's it. And then I'm gonna tighten it back up. All right, stay tuned. That one is tightened up. Pretty straightforward. Just be careful, the up top is live, don't forget that. You know what I'm saying? You'll be looking like Don King, you know? Worse, I'll be coming to your funeral. Funeral back on. Let's go test our compressor. The fan didn't start as yet, but here, one here, the com oh, here it goes. And you can see we're still rotating in the right direction. That's the right rotation that didn't change. But let's listen to our compressors, baby. Ah, ah, music to my ears. Ah, oh, ah, oh. I tell you, man, what do I tell you? That sounds just about right. I'm going to close this video off. If you like it, you know what to do already. I'm going to tell you guys, you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just do it. You know I mean? Just, 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 uh, you know, you know, do, 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 do the thing. You know what I'm saying? And you got to, I need like, good thumbs up because I will not make videos like these if, 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 if you guys aren't giving it a thumbs up right so now we're gonna change this fan belt right here um, I feel like I want to get my gauges on here though because I don't like the fact that this compressor didn't turn on even though it says it was on here hmm maybe I have to go a little further but the battery is about to die in this damn thing so I don't know if I'm able to record me doing that but that's gonna be like elementary stuff anyways not too crazy I mean, maybe there's a leak and it refrigerant leaked out. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go get my sensors. I don't have them with me. A little yellow box that I usually walk with. It's not here. But yeah, I'm gonna go get my sensors, put them on. I'm try and try to depress the uh, plunger here and see if see if uh, anything is in the system with this flat. <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna be venting on camera, aren't you? Nah. So, anyways, I just pushed the contact. The discharge pipe gets really gets really hot. And so on uh, the suction pipe was getting cold, so I think that it's not flat. So I can put these back on there. And uh, maybe something else is going on, I don't know. Gotta see, man. But like I said, uh, I'm gonna close this video off. That was the diagnostics. Um, I could wait for the call for cool to come back. This is doing right now. Numbers opening, ventilation. Let it go through spaces. I know the thermostat is on inside, it's calling for both stages. I might jump the mode over here, I don't know. I just, 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 there's so much possibilities, man. But I gotta go through this thing though and get some kind of familiarization with it. Even though it doesn't seem like there's much to it. But, uh, uh, yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm just gonna close this video off. Close this video off. All right, remember, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Smash the bell icon so that like, you get videos like these right away when I upload them. You'll be, notif you'll be notified. You can just watch them right away. All right, yeah. And don't forget to comment, man. I need mad comments on this video, like videos like this. This is like the second one I'm doing like in like recently. I did one on a train unit. And so this is a carrier unit. It was a train RTU. This is a carrier RTU. You got questions, leave it in the comment section. Um, yeah. I think this is the board I use for the fan. Is it? Yeah, I think so. For the VFD drive. That's what this board does. Yeah, that's, what this, that's the point of this board. I, I, I think so. Right, I could double check on the drawing schematic, and then this is your ignition control board for your furnace, for your heating furnace, right there. In case you was wondering where it was, and uh, what else? This is just a main control board, or maybe this board is for the fan. Now, I have to double check on the schematic, but I think here with these relays. Yeah, I think that's what this is, what this one is, this little board right here. This little relay by itself, it's not attached to this board. This little relay right here, I think this is going to be now for your combustion motor. Is it? Or condenser fan motor? Perhaps condenser fan motor. Schematic. Another video. I'm going to close this one off.